Next on Newsmakers, a conversation with our state's first female director of Veterans Affairs about accessing benefits coming up. Hi, welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Sabrina Register. Today we're in Olympia, the beautiful governor's mansion. Joining me right now is Alfie Alvarado, who is our first Thank female you. director of our state's Veterans Affairs. Thank you so much for coming on the program and congratulations on your new role. Fairly yes, new role, I guess. My pleasure. You've been in the role for a few months now, but yes. yeah, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you. Veterans, we have a lot in our state. Roughly, roughly how many live in the state of Washington? We have about 640,000 veterans in Washington state, about 20,000 active uh, uh, reserve National Guard, and about 75,000 active duty troops in the state. Wow, so that's a lot. That's, it sounds like a lot to me. Is, that, um, does, is it a lot compared to other states in the country? Uh, per capita, we're about fifth in the nation and uh, basically one in every 10 citizens in Washington state is a veteran. So I mentioned at the top of this program about benefits, accessing benefits that veterans uh, can receive and are entitled to. So what, what sort of benefits are they entitled to? Well, through the federal VA and the Department of Defense, there are many, many benefits. Uh, for example, housing loans, education through the GI Bill, homeless services, uh, mental health uh, services, health care through the federal VA, on and on. There are many, of, many veterans' uh, benefits, but the issue is that a lot of our veterans and their family members don't know about them. So they don't know about them. That's, that's interesting. So they're not accessing them because they, maybe they don't realize the wide range of services. Can you give me an example of someone who may not realize that they're entitled to these benefits? Well, we have a lot of new veterans now, and they're becoming aware of their benefits. But for example, of our older veterans, uh, I just met a veteran just a couple of weeks ago, and he served at Joint Base Lewis McCord, then Fort Lewis during World War II. He never went anywhere. He didn't go deploy to Germany or Africa, and therefore he didn't think he was a veteran. He's catastrophically disabled. He could have been receiving veterans benefits for a long time prior to just last week. Now we're connecting him and his spouse to benefits where he's going to be able to get health care and not have to worry about his future, especially long-term care services. So that's one example of how a veteran can access benefits and truly be able to capitalize on the benefits that they earn. So s some of the younger men and women who have served, maybe they have um, more of an idea of all the benefits that they're entitled to, but if I'm understanding you correctly, it sounds like some of the older members, older veterans, may not realize all the services that are available to them. Correct, we've built great programs, especially after 9-11, uh, in being able to get the resources needed to be able to serve veterans. Lots of resources. But prior to that, the Gulf War and then the Vietnam vet, for example, uh, just did not get that attention. So it's been placed now, built on the services of the Vietnam vet and the World War II veteran. I've seen a, a big focus, or it seems like there has been a, a focus on um, mental and behavioral health for veterans. Is that an area where you all have expanded or is that an area that is an important one? Well, the state of Washington uh, had the very first uh, behavioral health program in the country mm. almost 20 years ago to be able to augment the services that the uh, federal VA provides. And this is just one example of uh, one of the programs that is absolutely critical for our vets. We're finding out that mental health services are some of the critical services to make sure that a veteran is successful in the transition from the service into the community. All right, well, great. Alfie Alvarado, Thank first you female so director much. of uh, Veterans Affairs here in Washington State. Thank you for talking to us. Oh, my pleasure. And thanks for watching Comcast Newsmakers.